Sometimes Adobe Captivate features work opposite to the way that you would expect them to. And in such cases, you need to know how to fix those. So we're going to help you with uh, the default behavior of clicking an item in your table of contents. Okay, so as we said, uh, sometimes the table of contents doesn't behave the way you would expect it to. And let me show you an example of this. I've got a project open right now. We're just going to do a simple HTML5 preview of this particular project here. And you can see here I'm on slide one. I open my table of contents and I jump to slide three. But the table of contents remains open. And this is not the default behavior that I would expect, uh, nor would my clients. So let's change that. This is a very simple solution. Hopefully you guys appreciate uh, this, the simple elegance of this. And what we need to do is we need to go to the properties inspector of each of our slides and go to the actions tab. Very simple thing here. On enter, we're going to change the on enter action to something else and in this case here there's a command already built into Adobe Captivate to do exactly this hide TOC so we're going to select that uh, you can continue playing the project I happen to have a pause on this slide at the end of the slide and we're going to do the same thing for all of our slides moving forward here so we're just going to hide the table of contents and do the same thing for slide number three hide table of contents and slide number four. Now this leads to one interesting situation that you may encounter if you've already got an action on enter for one of your slides or possibly an advanced action where there are two or more decisions being made um, or two or more actions being performed. Uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to add the command to hide the table of contents into your advanced action as well. So in this case here, let's go into execute advanced actions and we'll create such an advanced action here. So we'll call this on enter. And uh, funny, <laughs> funny characters there, but uh, again here we can just simply choose hide table of contents. And if you need the slide to continue playing, just include a continue command and that will work fine. So we're going to save that as an action, click OK, and click Close, and now we're running our little funky looking execute advanced actions here. So let's do a preview of this right now and see how that works. So here we are on slide one, I open my table of contents, and I jump to slide three, and as you can see, the default action now is to close that table of contents. And I, of course, can jump around the entire course, including slide four, where I have an advanced action where I include several commands at the same time. Works just as perfectly as it did on all the other slides. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.